What's up dudes? This is Randy from the Hasuverse and today we are unboxing the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. Now, I know you guys have been waiting six long years for this game, as so have I, but before I start playing this, I wanted to do an unboxing of the contents inside. So, let's get straight to the point. Now, take a look at this box. It's just so gorgeous. You have the nice designs that make the Breath of the Wild series just so cool. I mean, the spirals give you such Uzumaki vibes, am I right? And look at the cool gold lettering too. I mean, this box has already got me in awe, so I just can't wait to really see what's inside. I mean, just look at the designs from the front to the back. I mean, I don't know much of what any of these images represent, but I want to reserve those thoughts until I actually play the game. So I'm gonna stay mum about what I think according to these uh, designs. But as you can see, I'm struggling to open uh, this box, but I'm trying to be very delicate at the same time because I don't wanna mess up the box at all. So I'm being real delicate here. But I'm gonna get there, so please bear with me here. So now it looks like I finally got it open, and yeah, we're gonna just kind of take a look at the contents inside, you know, take it piece by piece. So we'll start with this box, and you can see there's that steel bookcase, which just looks great, and the other side, I believe those are pens, but let's open the steel bookcase first. I mean, look at it. I mean, yeah, it's a steel book. We see these in a lot of collector's editions, but none as gorgeous as this one. I mean, it's just the gold plate, the, the different designs, and you know there's a story here. There's definitely a story, and it just looks so great. I can't wait to put my cartridge in there. Now I'm going to open up this, the regular box here. Um, as you can see, I'm having a hard time trying to get it out, but I finally got it out. But yeah, I mean, this is the title card that we all know. Uh, we've been seeing, you know, since this game has been uh, talked about. You know, Link is looking out into the sky. It looks like he's going to jump. Um, the thing about this game that I'm getting is that there's going to be some similarities uh, within Skyward Sword because Skyward Sword, that serves as the prequel of the series, you know, dealt with him actually living in a world uh, within the skies. So I think there's going to definitely be some correlation here. Don't know how much, but there will definitely be something. But yeah, just look at it. I can't believe I have this in my hands. I finally get to play the sequel. Uh, I've been waiting so long for this. This is incredible. And just to make sure the cartridge is in there, look guys, the cartridge is there. I didn't get had, all right? So I could definitely play this. And yeah, I have the box and the steel bookcase here, and I'm definitely gonna put that cartridge in the steel bookcase. I can't wait to do it. So now there's still some things in here. Uh, let's take that little thing out. So it looks like there's an art book there. And there's also, which I believe are the pins. So we're going to open up the pins. But the first thing I think of when I see it is just, man, look at the nice clean design here. I mean, the design is just so, so nice. Uh, it's, pardon me here, I'm still struggling to open this, but it's coming. It's coming, all right? It's coming. All right, cool, it's open now. But as you can see, um, yeah, the design just looks so clean and just so nice. It's just, it's just really cool. I love it, I love it. This is something I'm not gonna open. I'm gonna probably keep this in the box, but yeah, you can see the gold plated lettering there. And yeah, let's see what's inside these uh, pens. What, what design is on these pens? I'm, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it seems like we have four of them. Yeah, I'm not sure what these symbols stand for, but I'm sure they're very integral to the game. Uh, it could be a myriad of things. I'm not going to really venture, I guess, so we're just going to kind of keep them and uh, keep it in its box and you know, try to wait until, you know, play the game and see how it goes there. So as I put that away, yeah, look at this 
nice art book. I mean, as I get this art book out, I'm just enamored by the gold plating again there. You can see the nice design, the indentation of it. It just looks really, really nice. I mean, there's really... I'm really at a loss for words here just because I can't wait to play this game and just everything I see is just just so so amazing but yeah you can tell you could feel the indentations on the design itself it's it's really nice it's it's a really really great book and I know there's just a ton of spoilers in here so I'm not gonna open this I'm gonna keep this and it's plastic and it's gonna stay stay in the box but if you've opened it tell me what you think I want to know what you think about the art book I'd love to know I mean do you do, do you love the designs in there just keep it spoiler free okay keep it spoiler free but yeah, so as I put everything back, I'm going to open this other box, and yeah, it seems like we've got a little little paper there, but as we open this box, yeah, look at it. You can see Ganon right there, and he's controlling his army of minions. I mean, this box is just amazing in itself, and we know there's a steel poster in here. And I mean, the still poster is going to be just a fantastic thing, but I just marvel at even just the box that contains the steel poster, you know? But as we open this thing, uh, I'm trying to make sure that I keep everything as delicate as possible, as you should be doing too if you have your collector's edition. But yeah, looking at the picture, I mean, it is the same picture that we get within Tears of the Kingdom. It's. It's such an iconic picture, but yeah, I'm trying to open what something seems to be going awry here, but ah, ah, I see there is a magnet. So the magnet, you can use it. You can put it uh, on your refrigerator. You can put the steel book, or I'm sorry, you can put the steel poster on your refrigerator or however. Uh, so that's there. Now, as I can finally open this, yeah, just look at the picture. Just looks so great. You see Link looking off uh, in the sky. You know he's gonna jump. He's gonna go somewhere. I mean, there's there's so much to this game that I can't wait to explore. I mean, it's gonna be amazing. But for now, I'm gonna keep it nice uh, and keep it nice and pristine and keep, uh, try to organize a bit here. I want to make sure that uh, this uh, everything gets organized so you can see the end product of everything that's in the collection. Now, I want to thank you guys for watching this little unboxing here. Um, tell me what you think about the collectors. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Um, if you like this video, definitely hit that platypus somewhere on the screen. And don't forget to stay nerdiest.